Uh, let's get into some market conditions before we uh, take our first break and then we'll bring Amanda on. So a couple of things going on. We know the Fed's are not right now poised to lower rates again. No. It's not gonna happen. The, the job market is too hot still. Uh, there's a lot of things going on that just point to probably, I, I don't even see them honestly, uh, lowering rates in June or July. No, I, it sounds like, you know, certainly second half of the year is, is are the the little, you know, buzzes that I'm hearing and, um, you know, that's that's what's priced into the market at the moment from from what I'm hearing. And, you know, if, if that changes, if 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 the macroeconomic indicators don't start shifting in a way that is going to make the Fed feel better, um, you know, the, the Fed is going to start making other noises and you're going to see the, the market yeah. moving. Yeah, I think right now the Feds are uh, they're more worried about dropping price uh, dropping rates too fast than they are keeping them high higher right now because the economy just speaks to that right now all the dynamics of the economy uh are just not speaking to lowering rates people are still spending money they're spending money like you know it and you know I, i'm i'm part of the problem right like i'm not out there you know going well you know I should probably, uh, you know, pick Miller Lite instead of, you know, <laughs> Heineken or something. You know, I just, I don't feel like I need to do that. And, and, and that's part of why inflation keeps, you know, being a problem. And, you know, I, I measure it, you know, in, in many ways, uh, one of my favorite ways to, to, to kind of, you know, gauge where inflation is at is what is a Panda Bowl at Panda Express cost, right? Before, you know, we had all, all this inflation, inflation, it was about 750. It's like 11 bucks now. It's like yeah. 11 bucks now, you know, two years ago, you know, it was 750. It's like, wow. Yeah. And, and now I sound like an old guy who's like, you know, back in my day, <laughs> you can get a gallon of gas for a quarter. Right. And, you know, okay. You know, I, I, I'm not getting younger. You know, there's only one direction that arrow points. Yeah. You know, so, inflation it is what it is it's sticky we're still at about three three point one they want to get down to two it's always in that 11th hour where you get stuff done i almost mm -hmm. said the other s word uh, you get <laughs> stuff done and i think that's the same here that last little corner we have to turn to get to two percent um, I think, uh, you know, it's going to be the hardest part, right? That's what they say, you know, and, and in, in some ways you go, okay, so we, we need to, you know, keep the brakes on, um, you know, people borrowing money. So we're going to keep interest rates high and, you know, that, that makes sense. I mean, that's like econ back in high school, but, you know, at the same time, you, a big part of that is the, the cost of housing, which is is oh, not hundred percent is not moderating, no. and the supply and demand of and that food. Well, food, you know, food. You know, I, I don't I don't know as much about food as I know about housing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's like if if housing continues to be expensive because we we don't have as as much of it as as you know we should or would like to have i i i fall short of, of calling it necessarily a, a crisis because um i don't i don't necessarily feel that myself i'm you know call in to, to yell at me um <laughs> you know if you if you disagree but um it, you know the supply and demand of it you know it, it's it's not getting cheaper and I'm not, not sure how making it more difficult for people to, to buy homes by keeping interest rates high is, is meant to lower uh, the cost of housing and thereby, you know, put a big dent in inflation. So that's for smarter people than me to yeah. figure out. But, you know, I that's agree. just sort of a thing that I thought about. Just you now. know, supply and demand is everything in any market, right? I mean, so right now we still have historically low supply. Uh, home sales went up about 3% uh, recently, but they're still lagging because of inventory. And inventory also went up, but it, we're still at historical lows. And something you talked about before we went on air really makes sense. You know, a lot of these properties come on the market and go off the market.